Hey guys, welcome back to Code Box Automation Lab. This is Shurful. So in this lecture, we're going to learn what is UI Automator 2 and how to install this UI Automator 2. So what is uh, UI Automator 2? UI Automator is a UI testing framework that comes from Google to facilitate mobile automation on Android devices or emulator. So it is a, you know, uh, this is a framework that's built by Google. So you know, since it's Android developed by the Google, so it, this UI Automator also is a testing framework that developed by Google to make our automation much easier. And then what the APM guys did, you know, the APM, they create a wrapper class. They create a wrapper on the top on UI Automator as a name, UI Automator to driver to make the Android Automator much smoother, much better. So using UI Automator, we can set our uh, capabilities. It's like, you know, what's your operating system? Like definitely it's going to be like Android. And then, you know, what's your, where is your app? What's the app you want to run? Where do you want to run? Is that on virtual device or in your, in your physical device? Everything, those are called uh, capabilities, desired capabilities. So all those things you can declare through the UI Automator driver. So, you know, so this is the like a prerequisite thing, right? So a UI Automator that helps her help us to set those prerequisite things. Okay. Again, it is a testing framework that's developed by Google. It's facilitated by Google, but on the top, you know, uh, the APM guy, they creates a wrapper using this UI Automator. You know, it's called UI Automator 2 you know, to make our Android automation much smoother, make it much, uh, uh, you know, dynamic. So that's why, you know, we need UI Automator to install on your system so that we can use this UI Automator 2 driver. Okay. So let's say that how can, how can you install the UI Automator 2? So let's go to the CMD or your command prompt, right? So go to your command prompt and after that, you are going to type over here you can see over here you will type over here let's see that first you know you can type over here apm apm you know to start your apm server you can just type apm then it will start your apm server like in our previous lecture we have seen all the setups like configuration as well as the installation of the apm right so please if you are if you haven't covered those uh, uh, tutorial please go go back and 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 come through you know one by one so that you have all the details ideas setups configuration everything so anyways so here you are going to type APM then type over here driver then list then hit enter okay so it will all done okay here it shows the APM driver list so it's if you type this it will see over here let me make it a little bit bigger you will see over here it's giving you the different driver has been installed or not installed on your system you can see over here there's a lot of you know the gecko driver the safari right there is a windows there is a in you know, a xcui test driver there is here is a ui automator you know the two driver right which is showing is install because it's i already installed on my system but for your case you know this will show it's a similar like not install it means it's not installed yet so to install it you know what you have to do you have to type simple you know just apm apm and then sorry uh, let's make it over here apm apm and then driver driver then install then type over here ui automator automator 2 okay then hit enter i'm not going to install because i already installed as you can see it's already installed it's showing on my system this like you know this is the ui automator 2 it's 2.10 is the version it's already installed my system but if you just type you know this code and then hit enter it will automatically install it will install the ui automator 2 and after that you know again you know uh, write this code apm driver list 
just to ensure you know your UI automator shows the you know it's installed status okay so pretty much you know that's the way you are going to you know install the UI automator to and your system and then you know in our next lecture we'll see how we're going to create an object of UI automator and how this UI automator help us to set up our different options like a uh, different desired capabilities like how to declare you know uh, what's OS you are going to uh, use what's your uh, device platform name what's your like uh, the app where is your app that you are want to run on your virtual machine or 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 on your physical device okay so that's why UI automator is very important you know it is a testing framework once again Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned. Watch the next one. Bye-bye.